Juwan X Dar. Seth Mustis know what's going on, yes, Lord. Yep. Hey, everybody, y'all post game review. Uh, Adelaide Crows versus Melvin Demons at the Adelaide Oval. Yeah, so coming into this game, uh, I was definitely leaning towards Melvin when I tip Melvin in this game. Uh, even though the Crows are at home, even though this is gather round, gather round for gather round, if you don't mind, uh, I just didn't see the Crows coming out on top this game. The D's are just a little too stacked. Got a little too much going. They have great momentum coming into this game. And they just carried it through. On the other end, Adelaide, quite the opposite. 0-3 um, coming into this game. Left this game 0-4 at home. In their round. In South Australia. At the Adelaide Oval. And just wasn't a good look for the Crows this game. Despite the score being as close as it was. Uh, for me coming into this game, <clears throat> uh, we know Melbourne's been coming in, playing pretty decent footy. Uh, but we know that they have susceptibility to uh, to not kick accurately. Uh, so that's always on my mind when I'm coming into a Melbourne game because a lot of the times the defense will be able to uh, hold the game, hold them to, will hold the opposition to low enough points for them to be able to get by and win. Um, and they also played, uh, they got away with uh, a good win against Port uh, last week, despite being under man defense, on defense without Stephen May and with the injured Jake Lieber, so that was impressive. Uh, and then, like you were saying, Adelaide on the flip side have just been very underwhelming, 0-3. Uh, but I would, I would like to, I was coming into this game not completely writing off Adelaide just because this is gather round. If y'all are about to get up for a game, and I know the way it should be this round, and at the same time, there is talent on your on your list, and we've seen the potential of what you can do. So, um, yeah, I didn't completely write him off, but just as the game's going and after watching this game, it's just I think Adelaide is showing us who they really are. And unfortunately, it's not who I thought they were. Yeah. So first quarter of this game, I'll put it like this: Adelaide gave a real West Coast performance this this game. They came out the first quarter really strong. Uh, and then they just started kind of dwindling after that. They kind of make a, made a little bit of effort back in the later ends of the fourth quarter, but it was a little too late at that point. But the first, well, really the first half, I think it was no team scored consecutive goals until like six minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, so... It shows that Adelaide was putting up some type of fight, but I don't know. It's kind of like they just ran out of gas somewhere during the game, and or Melvin just figured them out because, uh, despite like I said, despite the score, it, Melvin seemed to win very convincingly. The other three quarters, uh, first quarter, like I said, Adelaide. I think Adelaide spent most of the time in their four fifty. I know at one point it was like. 70% uh, time spent in Adelaide's 450. Oh, like the second quarter, wasn't it? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Uh, early in the second. But uh, it, it just wasn't enough. Uh, Melvin figured them out and then turned the game around and it just never, they never looked back, man. Crows are just too, I mean, these are just too good for the Crows. And then. Oh, so I think in the beginning of the game, it was noticeable that. Uh, Clayton Oliver was pretty quiet too. Uh, yeah. He wasn't really doing too much in the beginning of the game, but as he did get going, Melbourne Top kind of did get going with him as well. But I wouldn't just contribute the win uh, just off the back of him. I think Melbourne had great pressure. Um, I think Melbourne, um, the defense held, held, held Tex in check. I think Adelaide kind of struggled with just having Tex as the main guy go to as the forward down there. Um, I think if they did have Phil Thorpe and he did show up as to how they thought he was going to be. Um, obviously, the injury is why he's not here, but uh, I think they could have benefited from having more than just one target. I think with Adelaide, you do know who, you're, who they're going to. Um, you have your small forwards who can be dangerous at ground level, but uh, aerial targets is really just text for the most part. Uh, um, and 
He had a decent game, but I don't think he would serve the ball as well as he would like. Adelaide actually had more inside 50s, but the efficiency inside 50 wasn't really uh, great at all. And that's just where you got to credit Melbourne's defense, bro. They just know how to disrupt you. The, the intercept possessions were, were great on the ends of, on the back of Man Lever, as always, when they're both on the field. Uh, the midfield from Melbourne was great. Uh, and yeah, it just, Adelaide just looked disjointed more and more as the game went on. Uh, and they did have the fight. Whoops. Okay, so right before halftime, like you were saying, like six minutes, that's when Melbourne really ran away with the game. And then the third quarter, they came in and did, really did the same shit. Just went to work, bro, and handled business. Yeah. Uh, some players, I like to point out, uh, they usually don't get the spotlight. Uh, Caleb Windsor had a really good game. Uh, uh, first year player for Melbourne. Usually plays kind of a wing position. Uh, don't usually see him get as many touches as he did this game. I'm looking forward to how he develops in the future, even though I just dropped him off on fantasy. And now he wants to turn up. But that's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, as far as Adelaide goes, Adelaide didn't really have any new players stand out. There's always text, there's always Frank here. Uh, Jordan Dawson, uh, Laird, the the usual players stepped up, but they didn't really get enough done. Um, Melbourne just Melbourne's too stacked and it's too much. Melbourne had all their players do what they were supposed to do. You get the little extra push from when Kazi's turning up too. Kazi, I think, had two goals, two very spectacular goals, if you don't mind my opinion um but yeah when melvin gets in a flow you, you know how that go uh, yeah i also want to say uh in this game book well, before i even get to that you spoke of dawson and i think dawson i don't know if i spoke of this earlier um, in the preview or in the intro but dawson has been struggling most of the season and that's really a big reason why adelaide been asked but he did have a, a really good game this game. This is probably his, guaranteed his best game of the season. Um, and you can tell he kind of wanted this one. Um, not all the same teammates had the same effort. But uh, I also did like what I seen from Mitch Hinch. He had a, bit, a nice yeah. game, too. Uh, just pressure and his kicks and that moments were great. Um, Lace out. Um, but also, there was a big... Uh, both of these teams were really undisciplined at times. It just seemed like there was free kicks given away. One time there was just two free kicks given back to back by the same, like the same sequence, just like mm, mm, whistle blown both times. Uh, but despite that, Melbourne had was handicapped by the penalties a lot. I think it was like twenty one to nine. I think the free kick differential was in Adelaide. Still managed to lose this game, so that's very worrying for Adelaide in the future. You know, the season just started, and I would have thought it would have been promising, but. 04 to the season is kind of is already like, damn, what are we about to look forward to next year? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They haven't even had their rookie play, their draft pick, Dan Kirk, to play yet. So it's like he'll be playing and doesn't even gonna feel like it's a meaningful game. Or what? That is the start to the gather. You got any pairs? Nope. That is the start to the gather round. Our home team is taking an L. <laughs> they turned it up last year. Like the first, yeah, the first there. game I think they had, and they turned it up and looked like they just stank yeah, uh, Other than that, y'all like, comment, subscribe. We do be live. Check us out. All that. All that. But, yeah, yeah. Till next time.